Summary of Boost Your Self-Esteem Confront your anxieties, develop self-reliance, boost your confidence, achieve your goals. By John Kaunt Everyone struggles with self-esteem. Despite outward appearances of confidence and success, almost everyone confronts issues of low or poor self-esteem. Poor self-esteem often stems from youthful experiences. It is the cumulative product of what you were told while growing up, feedback from those around you, life experiences and the unconditional love and acceptance you got, or didn't get, from your parents, teachers, relatives and peers. Positive and negative reactions from others and your beliefs, perceptions, conclusions, criticisms and predictions all influence your self-esteem. You can distort your self-esteem with your own misperceptions or erroneous conclusions based on limited evidence, false beliefs, contradictions, omissions or exaggerations. No one is an unbiased observer of his or her own behavior, potential or achievements. The past may be the foundation of low self-esteem, but as an adult you have the right and responsibility to keep developing in more healthy ways. You weren't in charge of yourself then, but you are now. Issues of low self-esteem can present themselves in a multitude of different ways, such as doing things to try to get other people to like you or approve of you, constantly comparing yourself to others and resenting those who succeed, feeling like a failure and focusing on the negative about yourself, getting upset when people criticize you, even constructively, giving in to other people's desires and giving up your own not doing something you always wanted to do for fear of failing or looking foolish. Striving for perfection, which is unrealistic and based on fear. Worrying excessively, but not asking for help when you really need it. Taking advantage of others, bullying, putting them down or even being abusive. Putting yourself down, both out loud and in your own self-talk. Feeling like you are not in control of your life and your decisions. Withdrawing into yourself and avoiding other people or social events. Becoming aggressive or overly passive, boastful or controlling. Punishing yourself or only allowing yourself to feel good when you've earned it. Learned coping techniques. Most people cope, often subconsciously, with outside attacks against their self esteem in four ways that unfortunately exacerbate poor self esteem and create a vicious cycle. 1. By withdrawing, this means avoiding potentially negative people, experiences or situations, putting up barriers so people can't get close, refusing new assignments to avoid failing or missing opportunities so you don't have to leave your comfort zone. 2. By counterattacking, this means turning inside, attacking yourself by setting extremely high goals you must overcome to prove your self-worth and still not being satisfied when you achieve them. It also means denigrating your successes. 3. By deferring, this means being passive, letting others have their way, becoming a people pleaser or letting yourself be taken advantage of or used. 4. By controlling, this means being a perfectionist, setting unrealistic expectations, obsessing or trying so hard to get control that you bully or manipulate others. Self-esteem is the value you place on yourself. You affect your self-worth with judgments about yourself that are usually much more critical than other people's judgments would be. The goal, of course, is healthy self-esteem, valuing yourself for who you are and loving yourself unconditionally, regardless of your status, age, physical condition, mental abilities, financial status, family, background, achievements or any other limiting factor you might inflict on yourself. Everyone is worthy of being valued as a person. Just as you love others unconditionally, love yourself, as you are. Unfortunately, many equate self-worth with achievement or success. Yet, even smart, successful people suffer from poor self-esteem or inadequacy because they cannot be all things to all people or proficient in many areas. No one can do it all. It is normal to have weaknesses and strengths. Take control of your life. As an adult, you are in the driver's seat, in control. You are not a victim of other people, circumstances, and experiences. You have choices. Failing to recognize, accept and make those choices is itself a choice, a decision to avoid responsibility and live with the consequences of indecision. The best way to develop positive self-esteem is to realize that you are in control. Choose how you will feel about yourself and value yourself. Act deliberately. 
put mind over matter and recreate your own reality. It is within your power to select your own attitude. Your attitude affects each area of your life, including self-esteem. Your thoughts create a self-fulfilling prophecy. What you believe and think is what you will become. You can manipulate your thoughts, so why not do it on purpose? You have always controlled your thoughts, so consciously decide now what you want to think and think it. Define your goals. Where do you want your life to go? What kind of person do you want to become? How do people like that behave? What do they do? When have you done that in the past? Act as if you are what you want to be. Watch that become reality. Realize that you are important right now, a very valuable person with lots of untapped potential. Set your goals and pursue them. Goals, and subgoals on the way, are useful if they follow the acrostic mnemonic cream, they must have clarity, be realistic, be economical and be active, and you must have a means of accomplishing them. Clarity, what exactly do you want to achieve? How will you know you're done? Realism, set stretch goals that are actually possible to achieve. Break big goals down. Economy, prioritize goals, give one attention, achieve it and do the next one. Activity, set action steps. Do them. Affirmations help, but you achieve by doing. Means, identify the means of achieving your goals. Get the needed skills or resources. Being a perfectionist is not healthy. Striving for excellence and doing the best you can are both different. Perfection is impossible. Perfectionists set unrealistic, often impossible goals and may avoid anything they think will not turn out perfectly, relationships, jobs or opportunities. Yet, they are never satisfied, even if they reach the top, because they are not actually motivated by success. In reality, their motivation is fear of failure. The result is stress, anxiety, worry, anger, frustration, and misery. Are you being a perfectionist? If you feel tension, apprehension, and aggravation or if you derive little fulfillment from your work, maybe the cause is perfectionism. Techniques and exercises to develop positive self-esteem. Your experiences produce your attitudes, beliefs, behaviors, opinions, and self-esteem. If you change your experiences and alter the data you feed your brain to create your attitudes and opinions, then your self-esteem will shift also. To build self-esteem, change the input. Practice these techniques and exercises to develop positive self-esteem. Recognize your positive qualities, list all the good things about yourself, your best qualities and what you like. This is not boasting. Recognize the good in yourself. Affirmations, in the first person, write strong, positive, uplifting statements you can read over and over to affirm your value and increase your confidence. Positive self-talk, cut yourself some slack. Pay attention to what you say to yourself. Use strong, positive forgiving statements. Don't talk about yourself negatively to others. Question your thoughts and opinions, would you be this hard on someone else? Are you unrealistically hard on yourself? Are you being a bit irrational? Associate with positive people, some jealous or insecure people want to see you fail. Others are whiners or complainers. Limit your time with negative people. Acknowledge achievements. Keep an ongoing list of the things you've achieved to remind you of your personal growth and everything you have already accomplished. Recast beliefs, evaluate and examine your beliefs, replace negative, limiting beliefs with positive beliefs. Your beliefs are learned behaviors, so you can change them. Visualization, relax. In great detail, visualize yourself as successful. Form A. Mental image of yourself overcoming any obstacles. Then, do the work. Anchoring, recall past positive experiences. Create a conscious link to those positive feelings, choose a word or phrase and a small unusual gesture as a mental link to those feelings. Use them to evoke those encouraging feelings anytime. Reframing, find the positives in the negatives, look at the glass as half full, convert problems into challenges to overcome. Acceptance, learn to accept what you cannot change. Detachment, yoga or meditation can take you away from daily concerns. 
develop assertiveness, stand up for yourself without infringing on others' rights. Overcome fears, most of the things you are afraid of are not as bad as you think. Stretch yourself, move a bit beyond your comfort zone. Recognize mistakes as openings, see setbacks as learning opportunities, not failures. Be your own best friend, be kind to yourself. Reaffirm your worth. Love yourself as you love others. Don't judge yourself more harshly than you judge your best friend. 18. Be realistic, set reasonable goals for yourself. Identify potential obstacles in advance, develop strategies to overcome them. Act as if, act as though you are self-assured and you will begin to feel that way. Project yourself confidently, make eye contact, relax and gesture naturally. Develop self-reliance, act independently instead of seeking approval. Trust your opinions, knowledge, skills and instincts, act on them. Don't be afraid to ask for help, provide a clear, focused request for what you need. See opinions as consultations, if you ask someone for an opinion, view it as a consultation. Listen to their thoughts and make your decision. Don't expect other people to solve your problems. Don't focus on impressing others, do not waste time trying to gain affirmation. Know what you want out of life, know what you really believe, not the imposed expectations of society, family, friends or other people. To be happy, find balance. Don't compare yourself to others, contrasting your worst with their best is unfair. Learn to laugh at yourself, laugh with honest humor about some of the human flaws you possess, like everyone else, but do not put yourself down. Accept praise from others, do not deflect it. Just smile and accept it graciously. Quit berating yourself for past mistakes or poor judgment, hindsight may be 20 20ths, but you probably did the best you could with what you had. Accept it, learn, move on. Let go of the past, try to release past hurts and go forward. You do not have to carry negative feelings or self-pity into your future. Seek counseling if necessary. If you can forgive someone who hurt you, you will feel an incredible sense of freedom. But even if you cannot forgive that person, let go of the baggage and move forward. Look for the positives, what good things came from your past difficulties, strug, glares or failures. What strengths, such as persistence, did you gain along the way? Learn to say, no, people pleasers have difficulty saying, no, because they don't want others to be mad at them or they want approval, but their efforts to please usually make them self-critical, not happy. Keep a diary of your journey, record big and small successes, your techniques for beating difficulties and your achievements. Refer to this log on low self-esteem days. The key is balance. Balance is one key to positive self-esteem. Do not allow any one area of your life to have overriding importance. Letting one aspect dominate is generally a sign of self-esteem issues. Whether it is a relationship, health, appearance, career or material goods, an over-reliance or preoccupation with any one aspect of your life is risky. If something happens in that realm, if you lose your job, break up or gain weight, your entire life feels devastated, because you made one or two things your life. Shape your life as a well-balanced combination of family, relationships, work, a healthy lifestyle and meaningful activities.